Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, been to a couple of charity shops today because I uh, still had uh, a couple of quid left of my money. Uh, only a couple of quid, so I thought I'd pop out to some charity shops. Went to a couple I haven't been to for a while and got some bangers. So, with that said, hello, just so you know, I'm here. Uh, I've got, you'll hear a crinkling because it's all in carry bags. Uh, so, from one charity shop, uh, Western Hospice Care, picked, I picked up a few CDs and um, a DVD of a film, or sorry, a musical, that I didn't even know existed. So, is this. Take that. Never forget. Fantastic. Next, same place. This, I've never heard most of her music, but I've heard a few of her songs and I enjoy it. And no, this does not mean I am becoming a Swifty. <laughs> but yeah, Taylor Swift Fearless Platinum Edition. It's a CD and DVD, and I only paid a pound, which is fantastic. Especially because everything's in mint condition. There's a wide range of tastes here with the music, by the way. We have some Muse. Chris Rhea. Or Ray, or however you pronounce his name. I've never heard anyone else pronounce it, so Road to Hell is a classic album. This has a funny sticker on it, which I find it was put on obviously after because someone had some stickers for the Eagles. The Eagles greatest hits, but someone's put the sticker on. Standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> I guess it's such a fine sight to see. Uh, and of course, because I have the Fame Monster, this is the Born This Way album. Lady Gaga 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 Gaga. Oh yeah, the the Fame Monster album I have is actually the two disc special edition. Uh, no, I'll do the next one first. Then of course for my soundtracks, I got Bridge Bridge Jones Diary, and they also had the sequel Edge of Reason. Now. Uh, I think that was all from that one shop. Yep, I think, yep, that's all from that one shop. Right, next place. Uh, you don't want to be... You didn't see anything, did you? No, you didn't. Good. Um, next shop. It's three DVDs for a pound. So, yes, you're going to see a duplicate because it's different cover, a different cover on DVD. So I thought, bang it, I'll have it anyway. Apparently it's the same, it's the actual same disc. It's just, it was a later release D uh, cover. So we have the first, which is this one. It's a pretty cool film. And then we have this, which was a later released classic AG's movie. Same disc, exactly the same disc. And again, these were three for a pound. Uh, this next one I picked up because I've never actually seen it anywhere in the wild. And the Blu-ray is a little expensive, so. Clue. There we go. That was three for a pound. Another three for a pound. I'm pretty sure the version of this next one I got is a United States version. I'm pretty sure of that. If not, I know it's not this specific release of it what's eating gilbert grape one for my mr depp collection now i've no idea what this show degrassi is but apparently jay and silent bob had a mini story arc on it and this is a dvd of it it is i'm guessing i don't know you'll have to tell i'll show you the front then i'll show you the back Director's cut, uncut, uncensored. Jay and Silent Bob do Degrassi. You have to let me know.
where that symbol is from. Uh, but yeah. Three episodes from season four, apparently. And it's quite extras. But yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Jay and Silent Bob. Even if Mr. Smith has said some questionable things about uh, his version of He-Man. Which I do not agree with. And then I had to find another film to make it round it out to a pound. Otherwise, it's 50p each. So it would have been a pound anyway. I just grabbed this because I like the orange cases. And I don't know. It might be a good film. Let me know if you've seen it. Now. The thing is that I were jumping out of my seat for when I saw them. Here we go. Queen Live in Rio. Do, 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 do. As you can tell by the cover, it is quite old. Lots of dust. Here's the track list. Let's see if it says what year this came out. It's only an hour. 1985. There we go. Uh, there we go. The, the language, the tape itself is in really good condition. Obviously, the sleeve has seen better days, but hey. Oh, I'll put that there. And next. This next one. Oh my. It is the greatest flix double disc collection oh sorry double di double tape collection it is chunky box of flicks it's the greatest flicks and greatest flicks 2 it includes four rare bonus tracks and a color booklet it does actually have the booklet as well this is the back i'll find a way of holding it without it covering too much greatest flicks the gold the light is playing with us a little bit hey greatest flicks too and the bonus keep yourself alive liar killer queen and now I'm here this was released I'm just going to read it. Nineteen ninety one. This was released. One of the tapes has a minuscule amount of mold. So what I plan to do is because I now have three VHS players, I plan to run the tape several times through my third player and then run a tape head cleaner through that there we go this is the spine it's uh as you can see <laughs> it's a bit of an old one and it's the one of those ones where it's taped down the middle so all up taped i don't know could be um there's something it, it could be sealed but yeah it's um open at the front there and open at the back here so there's that and i paid a pound for this one it was 50p for the other one and a pound for this because it was two tapes but the rear one goes for a five on ebay and apparently this one goes for 550 on ebay so well, hey I got a bargain. Right. So there's that. That was a little bit of shopping today. Uh, basically, just before payday. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a video. I'm going to have fun sticking this up on... Um... Where am I putting it? I'm, I'm going to put it on Insta, but I'm also going to put it up on YouTube. It's going to look funny because it'll be this angle. But yeah, 
You guys take care. And I will see you in another video.